Hi friends, you must have seen fish moving in an aquarium. Don't they look beautiful? They are of many colors and sizes. But do you know what makes them swim in water? Let us find out. We all have played with paper boats in rainy season, isn't it friends? If you observe keenly, the shape of a paper boat and the shape of a fish is somewhat similar. In both the cases, the front and the rear part are narrower than the middle part. This type of body shape is called a streamlined shape. This shape facilitates the movement in water by allowing the water to flow around it easily. Not only the shape, fish also have other features that help in swimming. The body of a fish has strong muscles present in it. These muscles contract and relax to create jerks that make it move forward in water. Fish contracts the muscles on one side in the front part of its body. This curves the front part to that side. At the same time, it contracts the muscles on the other side in the rear part of its body. This makes the rear part to curve on the other side. Now, in a quick motion, it relaxes these muscles and contracts the muscles on the opposite sides in both front and rear parts. This creates the jerk that pushes it ahead in water. Do you know that the fins present on its body also help it in swimming? The tail fins help in the jerking movements of the fish that make it move forward. The other fins help it to maintain balance in water. They also prevent it from rolling over in water. They also help in keeping and changing directions in water. Now you know why the underwater divers wear flippers on their feet. Moving on, let us see how snakes move. I am sure that most of us have a fear of snakes. Of course we do. If you observe the movement of a snake, you will find that the snake does not move in a straight line. Actually, the movement of a snake is called slithering. Its body makes loops that help it in moving forward. Its skeleton has a long and flexible backbone. Now, can you guess how does the snake make these loops? Yes, you are right. These are made using the muscles in its body. There are large number of thin muscles present in its body that are connected to each other. They also connect the backbone, ribs and skin. As you can see, these muscles contract to pull different parts of backbone. This creates many loops in its body. The snake uses these loops to press on the ground and pushes its body forward in a slithery motion. Let us summarize what we have learned. Fish move in water by creating jerks in water. Their fins and streamlined shape also help them in swimming. Snakes slither by making loops using their bodies. Their long and flexible backbone and many muscles help them in making many loops. So this is the end of the chapter. Thank you.